The idea behind verification is a few things and it's on several levels. One, it shows that Instagram trusts you. Two, it gives you that highly coveted blue tick, which basically is equivalent of being in some sort of private club because when you see an account with that blue tick, you know that they have gone through the verification process, Instagram trusts them. And so because of that, it represents a massive amount of social proof, which I mean, who can do with less social proof? Nobody, right? We all want even more social proof. So getting verified is one of the most powerful ways to do that. Hey there, have you ever wondered what the best way to get great social proof on Instagram is? One of the best things to do is to get verified on Instagram. But if you're watching this, perhaps you've tried getting verified and it hasn't been successful, or perhaps you haven't even considered getting verified. Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down, uh, you know, one of the new changes that Instagram added that has actually made it much easier for accounts like yours to get verified and get that highly coveted blue tick. Now, before I even jump into this, if it's your first time hitting this channel, then massive welcome. It's good to have you. I'm Pam Obasa, and I have a brand called The Lucrative Lady. And on this channel, I talk all things social media, sales, and sales funnel. In fact, my only goal on this channel is to help you to monetize your business, to make more money online. So if that's the kind of thing that you are interested in doing, then I want you to stick around with me by hitting that subscribe button and of course liking this video so that more people can and see it, I would appreciate that very, very much. So before I do the walkthrough, I want to first talk about why get verified. The idea behind verification is a few things and it's on several levels. One, it shows that Instagram trusts you. Two, it gives you that highly coveted blue tick, which basically is equivalent of being in some sort of private club because when you see an account with that blue tick, you know that they have gone through the verification process, Instagram trusts them. And so because of that, it represents a massive amount of social proof, which I mean, who can do with less social proof? Nobody, right? We all want even more social proof. So getting verified is one of the most powerful ways to do that. Now, um, a little while ago, Instagram, uh, you know, made some changes to their verification process and somebody actually sent me, uh, you know, uh, some content about this and I looked it up and I thought, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I must record a video showing you guys exactly what it is, what the changes are so that you can also get verified. Now, before I walk you through that, I want to talk about some tips that will help you to make sure that when you follow this process that I'm about to share with you, that it is actually successful for you. You. So let's dive into these five tips. Now, before you even get verified, I want you to follow these five tips. Number one is to make sure that your account is a little bit more seasoned. What does that mean? It means that it's older. So don't just set up an account today and try to get verified. No, Instagram don't know who you are. They don't know if you're impersonating somebody else. They don't know if you are legit. They don't know anything about you. So if your account is relatively new, then this process might not work for you right Right now, you might have to wait a little bit. So uh, Instagram really wants to build that trust with you and know exactly what you stand for. And you'll see, because when I start showing you the verification process, the new version, you'll see that they are really into verifying people who are legit and they really want some key metrics, some key information from you. So tip number one is to make sure that your account is older and seasoned. Tip number two is to be consistent on Instagram already. Now, why is this important? We all know that Instagram, you know, really wants uh, people who uh, to build an account that other people follow because they are really focused on monetization in terms of, you know, running ads and all of these things. They are looking for people who are consistent on Instagram, who have a great track record. So all of these uh, things that you are doing on your account will be showing up on the algorithm. So Instagram already has information, you know, about how often you are on the platform, how often you use the platform, how often you post, what do you post? Are you posting reels? Are you posting stories? Are you posting videos? The kind of content that you are creating all of these things send signal to Instagram showing them that you are either an asset or not. 
And so when it comes to the verification process, I find that the people who are verified are the people who Instagram deems are an asset to them. Now, there's nothing out there that proves this to me, but it's just based on the amount of uh, the types of accounts that I have seen who have, you know, been verified and it's been very easy. You can tell very easily by looking at these accounts that they are definitely an asset to Instagram. Tip number three is that you ought to uh, source some sort of media or leverage some sort of PR so that you can get some backlinks or some media publications about what you do or about yourself. This is very important. And again, when I go into show you how the verification process works, you'll be able to see why you need that. Now, one of the biggest things that Instagram is looking out for when verifying accounts these days is they want to see where else you're mentioned. They want to see how notable you are. They want to see how, you know, what other people are saying about you before they give you this highly coveted blue tick. And so if you have been mentioned in various different places, it's going to work in your favor. Now, granted, you don't have to have been featured in Forbes you know, or entrepreneur magazine or anything like that. You don't have to have appeared, you know, on a talk show with Oprah or anything like that. No, but just the mere fact that you have publications or other areas or other places on the internet that you can be found, it makes it so much easier for them to see that you are an asset, you do have an audience, you are a notable character and you are somebody trustworthy enough to earn that blue tick. Number four is to build your audience on other social media platforms. Again, this is for social proof and this is to show Instagram that their platform is not the only platform that you use. You can be found in other places. This is really, really important. I also love this tip because it allows for cross promotion, which is really, really easy and something that you ought to be doing in your business anyway, as you are trying to grow. So this uh, works really well in your favor, especially if you have a YouTube channel. It would be great for Instagram to see that you have an audience on YouTube, you have videos, right? They can check you out and they can see that you are somebody who commands attention, who creates great content, and you can be found on other platforms. This can only work in your favor. And then my final tip, tip number five, is to have patience. Once you have gone through the verification process, it can take up to 30 days for them to get back to you. Now, I have heard of people who have gotten this coveted blue tick in as little as 24 hours, but that's not everybody, so you will have to be patient. Now, with those five tips um, that I have shared with you, let me go in and walk you through the new verification process. Okay, brilliant. So I'm now on my Instagram account and I want to walk you through uh, the verification process. So we need to go into the settings of your account. So I'm going to uh, click the hamburger uh, at the top right hand corner and then I'm going to click over to settings. Once you're in the settings you're going to see all of these settings. You want to go straight down to accounts and then once you're in accounts ignore everything scroll all the way down to request verification. So I'm going to click on request verification. Now I'm here right. So it's a very very short form but very, very important. So let me walk you through each step. Step one is to confirm your authenticity. You see, verification is all about authenticity. Instagram wants to see how authentic, how real you are, essentially. So it says, add an official identification document for yourself or your business. Now for the username, it will auto-populate the username of your account into uh, that spot, which is brilliant. Now your full name, make sure you add your proper full name. So whatever identification you're going to be adding in the third session where it says document type, look at that first before you add your full name. So for example, if you're using your driver's license and it has a middle name on it, make sure that when it says full name, you have added the full name as it appears on that document. I really think this is important. So you add your full name and then you click over to document type and you can select up to uh, six types of document types. So you can select either a driver's license, your passport, national identification card, tax filing, a recent utility bill or articles of incorporation. So if, if, you're, if your um, Instagram account is under a business name, for example, then you may want to go for the articles of incorporation. But either of these, um, any of these actually work. You can only choose one, however, so choose the right one. So once you've selected one, so let's say I've selected driver's license, right? click on done 
The next is you're going to be able to choose a file. So if I click on choose file, it's going to ask me, you know, do I want to take a photo, browse or choose from my photo library? So just select, you know, wherever the file is and then move forward. Once you have done that, you have completed step one. Now let's move on to step two. Step two is all about confirming notability. So what does that mean? Instagram wants to know that you are notable, i.e. that other people know you beyond just, you know, who you are on Instagram. So it says, show that the public figure, celebrity or brand your account represents is in the public's best interest, right? This is so, so important. So is it in the public's best interest? Well, chances are, if you're on Instagram, then it, that it is. But Instagram wants you to prove this. So the first thing they want you to do is to select the category. So I'm going to click on category. Now, it gives you several different options from news or media to sport, government and politics, music, fashion, entertainment, digital creator, blogger slash influencer. I don't think they knew what to put for coaches, so they just sort of put the three, you know, <laughs> together. So choose that one if that's you. Uh, gamer, global business, brand, organization or other. So depending on what the, your business is, please select them. So depending on what your business is, choose the right one. So I went for digital creator, blogger or influencer. So I've selected that. Again, you can only select one. Once you have selected that, click on done over there. Once that's done, here it says audience and it says optional. Do not leave anything optional, right? Don't do it. Complete every part of this uh, form, very short form. Under optional or audience, it says Describe the people who follow your account. Include who they are, what they're interested in, and why they follow you. So over here, I just added a couple of sentences about my ideal clients, the kind of content that I create, why they would follow me, why it's important to them, and, you know, what good I bring to the Instagram platform. That's sort of, you know, what I put into a couple of sentences and I added in that area. Now, the next step under that says also known as, and again, it says optional. Again, you don't have to leave that optional if it doesn't apply to you, or rather if it does apply to you, don't leave it optional. Under that, it says list all of the names that the person or organization your account represents is known by, include different names and the name, include different names and the same name in other languages. So what does that mean? It means that if your account is under a business name, for example, this is where you put your real name. Or if you're known as something else. So for example, I'm known as Pam Obasa, but I'm also known as Pamela Obasa. So Pamela Obasa, you can find me as. I'm also known as the lucrative lady, which is the name of my brand, right? So it's very important that you add all of these things in that section so that if they are doing their homework, which they will before they verify you, they can easily find you. And then lastly are the links. This is one of the new areas that wasn't there before when I tried to do this before on my account, right? Before you can add links. This links, again, it says optional. Don't leave it optional. This is where you get to prove to Instagram that you are notable, that you can be found in other places. Now, this link actually allows you to have up to five links. So you can see it says link one, type URL, link two, type URL, link three, type URL. If you click down at the bottom where it says add link, you can add link four and you can also add link five. So you have a maximum of five. Try to max out everything as much as you can. So let's go through it. It says add articles, social media accounts and other links that show your account is in the public interest. Paid or promotional content won't be considered. So if you remember at the beginning where I talked about, make sure you leverage some PR, get you know named somewhere, wherever, get featured somewhere right? This is where that really comes in handy. So you can certainly begin with other social media platforms. Again, I talked about that at the beginning. Make sure you're building your account on other places, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Clubhouse, on um, uh, YouTube, etc. So you can add all of those links there. So when you add the link, so link one, the first thing it says is type, right? So you can select, is it social media? Is it a news article? Is it other? So if I say social media, for example, click on done. Then here you enter the URL of the social media handle. So you enter it and then you're done. You move to link two, you do the same thing. Then you move to link three, you do the same thing. You move to link four, you do the same thing. And of course, link five. Once you have added that, this bottom bit where it says submit is going to, uh, 
is going to turn blue for you and then you hit submit. Once you hit submit, you're going to see this image. I actually just screenshotted this because I did, I went through this process for one of our clients and it says request submitted. Your request to verify this account is currently under review. You can expect a response within 30 days. So like I said earlier, it can take up to 30 days, but I have heard of people who it's taken only 24 hours, you know, for it to be verified. So um, this is the verification process. So let me know uh, in the comments, have you been through this process already or are you planning to based off of this video? I want to know, did it work for you? How long did it take? Let me know everything in the comments. I really want to know that it has uh, worked for you. I'm so excited that Instagram is making a lot of changes because I genuinely do love uh, this platform and all of the wonderful things that it's uh, bringing in to support uh, business owners. Now, before you go anywhere, make sure you check out this playlist that has all of my stuff concerning Instagram the best stuff and it's all relevant and new according to what has been happening this year all of the changes so make sure you check out that playlist so that you can see all of the content that i have on instagram i look forward to seeing you guys in my next videos take care god bless